Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 17. We are in Goldcrest Valley at Field 15. I brought out the big cultivator. We've been using uh, that little guy over there behind me. I can go up a little further. There we go. Get our helicopter view here. Or should I call this our drone view? <laughs> anyway, uh, did clean up that field over there. We had expanded the edges on that one and uh, went to uh, cultivate it. And the cultivator just kept on going. <laughs> Didn't realize it. What's interesting is I put the sower on there afterward after I cleaned that up. And the sower knew exactly when to stop. You know, this little, that little green guy over there against the uh, back of the, the blue roof. He did both sides and stopped perfectly each time. So the cultivator is the culprit. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that one. Anyway, I ran the plow on the ends over here to clean up all the little uh, missed triangles that drive me nuts. And let's see if this cultivator and hired help, whoever shows up in here, can navigate plow marks going two different directions. Did this long ago, and it would stop. You know, one tractor's within because it got the command that it was done. So, I'm curious to see what's going to happen here. But let's I think I'll just stay in cab. So far, so good. Okay, so let's jump out and freak it out a little bit. Let it do that job there, and we'll see what happens at the other end. Otherwise, I think we want to do some quick cleanup around here and. Uh, get over to field 11 and, and start playing with uh, um, silage, grass, and whatnot. That's right, more baling as well. I also need to deliver the straw there. Let's rinse this guy off and we'll put him away. We, by the time that field gets cultivated, then we'll be done and can leave. But I kind of want to babysit it for now. Uh, there... And I'm actually thinking about not sowing that field until the next cycle of growth. I don't want this one. Next cycle of growth is done so that the fields aren't all happening at the same time. Go ahead and stagger everything out. That would be a wise thing to do. And that worked. Yeah. I still hit the E instead of the R, but it did the same thing. We'll clean these up, put them away. He made his turn over there. Or she. I didn't see who the helper was. So I'm thinking that they are going to navigate this well. It might randomly surprise me. So I'm going to hang around during this process. Put the plow, the little plow right there. So let's put the, the little uh, cultivator right in front. Oh, boy, it looked like I was hitting it. Over here you can see we have lots of room. The depth of field is pretty tough for me in this game. Right about there we'll call that done. Put you there. Like so. Are you doing it? You're still doing it. Good job. And... Let's put this guy on the baler. Whoa, that was a little closer than I wanted. There we go. Nothing like a little bump on a concrete wall. And we get this ready to head to field 11 with. Right there. Alright. Um, I'm going to toggle over to each one of these things. All right, we, I did drive this up the ramp and spit out his last little 31 liters. So, got rid of that. He's looking pretty clean. We're going to call that good. Let's go get him put away. We're done. Well, we're done until there. And there is actually the next phase. You know, let's go ahead and not hit the tractor. And park this over here. It seems... A decent plan. Just notice this monitor in the corner. Looks like an old little miniature TV. Wonder what it shows. You know, in 
you know, the real harvester, is that like a backup camera? Or do you really get to watch your soap operas while you're, uh, while you're harvesting your fields? I can't think of anything else that needs to be done before we start, so I guess I can go ahead and park it pretty much at the beginning here. Something like that. Okay. Engine. And where are we next? That one's done. He's working. Doing a good job, too. Not missing anything in the edges. I like that. All right, don't need this one. Ah, there's something else we need to do. So we've got 15,000 liters of barley. And that's that symbol. And as I'm dumping that, so I always forget. I had 13 and 15 memorized. This one I've struggled with every time. I'm going to try I. There we go. And let's pop into here and look at our quantities right there. So barley is going up. Wheat will be next. That will always give us one field making straw. And then the others will always be something else. We only need one making straw. We don't need that much straw. So back out of there. And when you're on the ramp, the trailer or the tipper uh, returns to its drivable position all by itself. It's only when you're forcing it to dump onto the ground that you have to manually bring it back down again. Um, I'm done with this, right? Yeah. Wow, that actually looked like I knew what I was doing. that. Alright, what to do with this? We could put the silver on this one. Just kind of get ready for the next phase in this field. Yeah, we could do that. I like that. That'll leave the, the case tractors for field 11. it. There's wheat. Okay. You're off and pickup truck Rambler Green and probably loading wagon. Not loading wagon. Oh. Loading wagon. This is, what's this one called? <laughs> Forget it. Um, bale collector. Here we go. We need the loading wagon. Hmm. Loading wagon's under the, underneath that roof over there. Loading wagon to pick up the grass for the silage pits. The baler to bale the, the hay. And the bale collector to pick up the hay. Well, I think our first job is to go dump this off at the cattle. So let's go do that. This guy seems to be trustworthy. So I'm going to assume it's going to finish correctly. And I want most of this episode to be over field 11, so I think I'm going to just uh, zip on over there. Oh, this is a nice scene here. All these dead fields are alive again. All the new crops. Good to see that. sheep we actually bought 
at the beginning, but I know we bought a dozen cattle. I'm curious if we've had any additions yet. Still 12, okay. I'm guessing we bought 20, she uh, 20 sheep. I think there were two trailer loads of 10. So we've gained two at this point. You can see the game is not updated a lot of things. So I'm pretty sure it's the top of the hour that it goes through and, and refreshes everything. But let's get this guy placed. Oh, that's right, we need to try that new uh, uh, tool that, that I downloaded the mod for, for cleaning up these. But first of all, how best to do this? Got to be able to get a tractor a front loader in there and snag these things. But I can't get this guy tipped up. Huh. Let's move this guy out of here and just look at our options. Oh, I'm backwards. That's why it looked funny. Couldn't tell what what end was what. Okay, we'll set this guy over here. Now, where to put them? I can hit uh, Y and get that started. It won't, they won't fall out until I hit Y again. So we could try a pretty intense U-turn here, if it will let me, and try to come in right alongside the silage bales. But that's really pushing it hard to make this turn here. Well, I just might pull it off. Wow. Boy, that's twice I almost look like I know what I'm doing. What's going on? <laughs> look at that. He's even cutting right through the concrete. All right, why? Now what happens when I go to slide it out of there? Can I hit Y again without knocking them all over? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Kinda. We're still attached to that one. Waiting for this guy to pull up. And I am kind of jammed into a corner here, aren't I? Yeah. Alright, well, he's not going to interact with that anymore, but I don't know how I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> yeah, we're going to jackknife before I make it, aren't I? No, I got out of there. Nope, I didn't. So close. Gotcha. Okay. Um, that one grass bale. Would have been nice to have snagged it, huh? Oh well. Let's get back. Actually, last time I did this, I did a fun little special effect by turning this corner. See if I can duplicate it. Of course, I just make a lot of extra work for myself trying to do these fancy edits. <laughs> It's fun. I enjoy the editing, I just don't have time to do it. It's kind of fun to create something that's different from what you recorded. Oh, I see the plow cloud over there. There's the back of the, uh, the cultivator. Yeah. So that is still working. I went to go load up that cultivator and almost missed it. It was so dirty, blended right into the dirt floor. Um, I could have dropped this off, couldn't I? And then came over and got the loading wagon. Yeah. How's he doing against that uh, building over there? He didn't snag it. Boy, it's close. Blue metal uh, posts over there. Hmm. Okay. Well, too much for that plan. Those things you think about after the fact and you can't redo it. So let's just put him over here. And... This guy's ready, he's ready. I guess he'll finish on his own. Let's take a look at the map here for growth. Okay, so that color is the the lightest right there, the, the uh, sown or just seeds in the ground basically. So I need to get into this stage right there. Once that happens, 
we'll go ahead and plant this guy. He'll be harvesting. We still got to get over and finish the grass. Yeah, there's a lot to do in the next two or three episodes. Um, how best? I just looked over and realized my, my timer is not uh, running. So, hmm. <laughs> hey, when that happens. So he's done over there. I kind of want that tractor, though, don't I? I do. No, I don't need to run the mowers. Let's think about this. I just need to run the wind rover. No, that's all done. So we need to run this guy, and then this guy, and then the loading wagon. Yeah, let's just get going. Okay, do we have a stage of growth already starting over here? We do not, still flat. All right, so we need to get down to this end. And this time we should get a now I was going to say we should get a good use of the uh, of the automatic unloading of this this uh, baler, but I think first I want to grab the wind rower. That's a little messy. It's going to take an awful lot of going back and forth with the uh, the baler to be able to do that. So let's just make sure we just park this right here. Let's clean things up. What's the chance we can get both of these in a one row? I think it's worth trying. Let's just try to stay right to the edge here and not miss anything. Oop. Yeah, that's easier said than done. You have to go and just snag a couple of these little spots afterward. Now... This is Friday when I'm recording this. I think next Friday, or within the next week, we're going to see uh, update version 1.4 of this game hit, uh, hit Steam. Shouldn't be anything that's going to cause a game save issue. Um, what's coming is kind of confusing to me. I think it's mostly console-based. What they're what they're improving. So one thing that they're talking about is adding the four real mods to the uh, scripts to the game itself, which was kind of confusing to me. I've got the ground response and real tires, I think it's called. So the little bumping that the uh, the tractor is doing isn't in the the base game that's added by that mod and for ground ground response and then the tires will get extra dirty and dirty ground and it'll clean up as you hit the pavement and start driving on asphalt so kind of a, a more realistic tire response to the uh, to the ground but along with that package is one that I don't have it's called uh, crop destruction and I don't have it because it seems to be overkill. It, you know, driving through grass doesn't destroy grass. It, it lays it over and the next day it pops back up again. But that ground destruction just wipes out everything. So every time you need to go back through the field to do another layer of fertilizer, you lose a bunch more of your, of your crops and they're gone for good. And then next layer of something else and, and you know, they're gone again. So I didn't bother installing that one because it just seemed too aggressive. You know, we'll just have ugly fields all the time. And, but they were talking about putting that whole package into the uh, game so that uh, consoles are capable of running the, the scripts as mods. That's kind of what it sounded like, which didn't make a lot of sense. Unless... From the control panel, you'll be able to choose yes or no on all the different features. That's what I'm hoping it's going to turn into. In which case, I may have to get rid of these mods because it's going to conflict with the game. That's my guess. So, I'll have to do some experimenting when that hits to see exactly how it's going to work. But that's coming in a few episodes. And then, 
shortly after that, I'm thinking right around episode 50, whenever that hits, I'm going to do something that I hadn't planned on doing, but I hadn't planned on, you know, creating hundreds of episodes of this, and I can see where it's going to take me hundreds of episodes to uh, really feel like I've accomplished what I want in the game. <clears throat> I'm thinking about... Go ahead and let me see if I can get this guy straight while I'm talking. Um, I've got a mod that will add a million dollars to the game. I have not used it on this map, but I have used it on another map so that I could buy equipment to create screenshots or uh, thumbnails or other things like that. I might grab that mod, stick it into this save file, and put maybe three, four, or five million dollars into the bank. And then we can spend the rest of the series not waiting to finally plow enough fields and what have you in order to be able to buy the next size tractor, but just go out and get the equipment and experience the game fully without having to get out to episode 200 before we finally earned our way to it. So there's one thing to be said to earn your way through the game. I mean, that that's something that I would prefer to do on my own, but it's not working so much for a YouTube series because it's simply going to take too long. There are all kinds of... Oh, come on. I'm going to back up here. All kinds of mod maps I would love to experience. And they've, you know, some... Modders have done a really good job of creating some some uh, spectacular maps. Little tiny fields of European environments to uh, uh, gigantic fields. And one of them is, I think, about four times the size of this map, uh, based in Colorado. And you can drive for two hours and not see the whole map. And it's just amazing what is out there right now. So I don't want to be in Goldcrest Valley forever. I do enjoy Goldcrest Valley, but there's a lot more variety to the game yet to experience. So if I put the money into the game so that we can get the potato equipment, we can get the poplar equipment, get the foraging you know, for uh, taking down the, the corn to make silage that way, and basically get a chance to, to experience all aspects of the game, then I'll feel like this, this map is complete. And we can call this series done and move on. Uh, VB and X. So that's the plan right around episode 50. Plus or minus a couple. We'll see how that actually lands. I think that's where I want to go with this. Alright, let's see if I can maintain my... Nope. My reputation is... Not holding. Can I back up? Boy, well, I cannot. <laughs> Let's get in a little closer and take it a little bit slower. I get a chance to think about it before I'm already 20 feet into an error. Then I can kind of make up for it. There we go. And back out. This one is harder to back up than most. I don't know what it is, but it's just. It's a little different. Am I inside enough? I think so. Grab you, and what is next? Baylor? The Baylor. There you are. All right. VB. So V drops it, and B starts the little motor. Actually, the power takeoff. The tractor is the motor. Oh, the tractor is the engine. Engine is gas-powered, motor is electric. That's the way I've always looked at that. Am I there already? Oh, that's right, I already had something in here. And looks like three seconds is... It, uh, it, it kept the three seconds going. Okay, so that is our new timer. Wow, we're picking this up so fast. Oops. I get it? No, nope, missed a little bit. We'll grab that next time. So it is nice to see that the game will... Well, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. 
<laughs> but the game will keep track of what's in these swaths. Yeah. Normally when I do that, I wait a little bit longer. And then... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do the way I normally do it. I'd swing out and grab that and come right back in, but now I'm going to have a bale on my way. But condensing these rows, it still keeps track of how much is in them. I mean, real easy to collect these bales. Boom, 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 boom. So in this case, the almost full beeper is not too uh, too soon. <laughs> I'm only going to get 20 feet. <laughs> I'm just taking the edge of the uh, of the row here because I know I'm not wide enough to uh, catch everything. And if I can keep kicking the bales off to this edge, then I should be able to come back through without having to run around bales. collector. Now, it doesn't look like we're going to get one more. Now, any other little spots? I think there's one more little spot, right? No, that's not one. Now we're going to call that done then. Alright, let's put him... I guess put him away. further back. There we go. And bale collector. Okay, well this area is looking uh, pretty good over here. All cleaned up and ready for the next round. Now, there's a lot more hay bales waiting for us than I was expecting. So, I know we want at least one load brought over to the uh, to the cattle. What do we do with the rest? I think we have hauled four so far out of the sheep pen, sheep area. So, what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. It's almost two loads. And there is a single one over there at the cattle already. And that may that double right there may have Yeah. Maybe eight here already. So let's drop this guy and start loading up. Figure out what the smartest way of doing this is. Gotta wait for that guy to get back there. So, probably just weaving back and forth like this is how we're going to do this one. Bunch of figure eights. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Let's head over to the sheep and just stand them up over there. And we'll figure it out some other time. Or off camera, I'll go and find a home for them. 
mostly I just want to get these picked up. I want to get one load. Tell you what, I'll do that. Let's just get one load over to the cattle, and we'll think about these guys next time. That's probably the best way to do it. Four of them go in there. I just don't know what to do with the others. Maybe we'll sell the others. Yeah, we'll see about that. Let's get this guy brought over to the cattle area. Now, where do we stack these? And can I snag that last one and bring it back and add it to the seven? <laughs> hmm. Now, that roof may be getting too low to try to get in next to the hay. I think so. Oh! Silage bales. No, no, no. Let's go for filling up that silage bay right there and get that fermented. So the next TMR that we make, let's make it with the uh, front loader and the loose silage. Let's go for that plan. Um... I'm going to go right into that corner there. Yeah, we'll see how well that works, though. Okay. Thankfully, it grips these things nice and tight, because I'm going to be bouncing all over the place here. Okay, kind of in the right place. I wanted to go a little bit deeper first. Like that. And then turn in. Yeah, we'll call that good. Back out a little bit in case it's in the, the concrete wall. Y releases, Y drops. You going to behave? Yeah, there used to be lots of little interesting problems with doing this and stacks of hay bales just flinging across the sky and flipping out and spring-loaded. Anyway, I think we're going to call this one done here. Next time we'll probably, I'm going to guess, we'll be harvesting the uh, canola field and sowing the, uh, the new wheat field and doing something with the other hay bales and loading, using the loading wagon to pick up this, the grass and taking it to the silage pit and all kinds of stuff coming up. So, this has been Noble Rambler. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.